Hello folks. Welcome to North Miami Beach. No, North Miami, Florida. Not North Miami Beach. That's a different city. It's North Miami, Florida. This is a little um, city park. Liberty Gardens. But check out this mural by Ernesto Marani. Painted in 2019. Ready? Not only is it up here. Hey, Chris. Welcome. Today we're in a section of Miami called North Miami, city of North Miami, and a little downtown area they have here. Checking out some uh, some murals. Again, that same that Windwood influence spreads throughout the city. This area is called Liberty Gardens, just between two, two buildings, a little lot. But otherwise it would be an alley. They've uh, created this Liberty Gardens Park. This mural inspires appreciation for native trees, plants, and pollinators. <laughs> uh, Chris, is this where our friend Tom lives? Um, he lives in North of Miami Beach. It's just uh, east of here. Um, it's kind of interesting how Miami's split up. So like the, the eastern area is considered whatever beach. The northern area is considered North Miami. And the southern, you know, South Beach, Southern Miami, um, far South Miami is like Homestead. So there's all these different areas. So he lives in North Miami Beach. This is North Miami. It's a little more commercial than North Miami Beach. North Miami Beach is more residential. Long answer to a short question, sorry. But um, what I like about North Miami is they have an, they have an, a developing appreciation for the arts. Um, I think a lot of municipalities, uh, yeah, the paintings, this is, this is the same, um, artist if you've seen my other lives, which I know you've been on, there's um, what I refer to as the ASPCA mural in Wynwood, where there's a bunch of uh, pets on there, dogs, cats, such. So this artist did that mural as well. Ernesto Moran. And we're also across the street from the Museum of the North Miami, Museum of Contemporary Art. So any municipality that emphasizes the arts, I will walk it. <laughs> and this is just one alley I have yet to explore. This is the first time I've really explored the downtown. I passed through here a hundred million times, but I said, you know, let me explore those nooks and crannies like I like to say. Oh, bugs. Even, is that a bug? Oh, no, that's the foot. The bird. <laughs> I was going to say, he even does bugs next. Oh, there's a real live bee. I don't do the bees. Chris, thanks for hanging out today. Anyway. On a slightly overcast Saturday in Miami.
Haitian American Chamber of Commerce. Smollier Valley. Some of these, uh, what I like to call the old Florida downtown areas. In the 80s, 70s, 80s, maybe the 60s. This is all before Brickell, before the massive architecture that, that followed. This was the original. This was as uh, downtown as it got in Miami. One day I will do um, a walk on Flagler Ave in downtown Miami, which is the first established street from like the 20s, 30s. And you see it goes back for a few blocks. Old Florida. We got my new gimbal, the DJI Osmo 4. I'm excited about. Okay, now we can get a little bit better perspective on that, that mural. Instead of being right under it. Right. Let's check out this park. This park has always fascinated me. I mean, this is Sidewalks are cool, right? Very geometric. Geometric art in themselves. Different kind of, even the different pavers. We have like brick. We have like stucco squares. And then concrete, concrete uh, pieces. So even the compositions. Good eye, Chris. Thanks for that. Chris said the sidewalks are great. Of course, I agree with that 100%. <laughs> That's a cool old school. Probably a bank. I don't know what that is. I like that glass, though. All right. So, uh, see, 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 North Miami. Museum of Contemporary Art. Downtown. Yeah, that should be my... That should be my... Uh, this is cute. Cafe cream. Cafe creme. Cool. Well, that's tropical. Spend the day in North Miami. Come check out Cafe Creme. So this is the park. I wanted to share with everyone. Is this? Ah, wide angle. Let's go wide on this. Got these old school clocks. Love that. Crestview Hills. Well, that's interesting. Have to see where that came from. Is that a clock was made by the Verdon Company in Cincinnati, Ohio. So see, if you ever get a question in Trivial Pursuit, it says, where was the clock in North Miami's City Hall Square made? Now you know. You're welcome. This is cool. It's kind of an iridescent. So check this out. It reflects the palm tree and likely it reflects the viewer. Perhaps that's what it's for. I'm not sure what this is. There's the viewer. And it poses the questions such as Am I good enough? 
and down here. Am I happy? Are you sure? Everything's done. Delay. I forgot. I, I forgot. I waved. <laughs> am I? Am I? Am I in love? What? Am I in love? Something telling us who this artist is. What this artist is. The backside is even cool. That's brilliant. How about that pop of color on a cloudy day? See if we can get the bus with the color. Oh, the colorful bus. Colorful mural. We're making art as we go, folks. That's how we do it here. Let's set you up with some screenshots. So back here, that's the police department. Looks like the Museum of Contemporary Art, but that's actually the police department. North Miami Police Department. My name is Marion. That must be this featured artist's sculpture. Now, folks, in, in Florida, these signs, not to knock Florida, because I'm a, nearly a native, these signs are required It's as uninviting as that fountain appears. Just judging by the color and such alone. Someone must have tried to go in there. <laughs> but I love that the Museum of Contemporary Art is in itself a work of sculpture. This is known as, see if we can see it, Sol Taplin Memorial Palm. Okay, I'm trying to find the palm. I'm trying to find the palm. There must have been a palm here when they riveted this sign to the concrete. All right, please, so tapping. This is the, okay, this is the sign for that piece. I'll let you guys check it out. Artist is Naja Moon, N A J J A Moon. The Museum of Contemporary Art, North Miami, is pleased to present its most recent art on the Plaza Commission, Reading Reflections by Miami based artist Naja Moon. With this work, Moon explores themes of reflection and self empowerment through a human scale intervention jutting out from Mocha's Plaza. The materiality of the sculpture, primarily fabricated from decoric glass, creates a prismatic light effect where the viewer can simultaneously look through and see themselves reflected in the oil slick surface. Experienced from different angles, light conditions, and dimensions, the work draws viewers into their own image, while intricate shadows and atmospheric color fog alter perception. 
etched upon the large slab pitched at a steep angle leading up from the viewer's feet is a drawing by Moon. Her signature writhing line and enigmatic symbolism, arrows and flow lines at first seem to indicate an encrypted set of dance instructions. Sunlight casts shadows from the drawing on, onto the ground, naturally projecting and amplifying it. In fact, the shadows from the drawing are intended to create an engaging, intricate, and mysterious game of hopscotch for visitors. Interspersed in the moon's elegant calligraphic language are pieces calligraphic language are pieces of text, both derived from and a product of the line work. The text suggests rules, challenges, and directions for what to do next. Questions and prompts result in highly personal outcomes, such as, how old were you when you had your first kiss? Viewers respond by moving to the next point and so on, creating an idiosyncratic but completely authentic physical map of their life experiences. Both engaged in a kind of sensory deprivation exercise, light and space movement phenomena, and meditation. Reading reflections is a powerful participatory work, artwork that playfully nudges catharsis, self-confrontation, and reflexivity. Wow. That's exactly what I was thinking when I saw that work. <laughs> About the artist, Naja Moon is a Miami-based artist and arts organizer with a practice centered around the idea that art is utilitarian. Her practice is an amalgamation of practicalities that improve her life, design and language, cultural responsibility and community. In her visual arts practice, she uses drawing and text to explore the intersections of queer identity, the body and movement, black culture and familiar relations, both personal and communal. Now that we know more about that piece, thank you for hanging in there while I read that, because I believe context is not always essential, but I do love to, to learn what the artist uh, expects so to speak, of the viewer. But I also love to, to learn what the viewer um, takes from, from it. So, we've seen that a few moments ago. Now, does it look any different knowing? Any more about it. It is a great piece. The, 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 the colors, I love color. And you don't often get a day in, in Florida, I don't know, South Florida, I'll say, where color can pop so vibrantly against the gray sky. And to see the palm trees just around it, reflected in it, fascinating. Take a quick walk around this fountain. Mocha. Are we in are we in New York? No. In North Miami. Now I want to go to the Cafe Creme and get a mocha. See how that works? Chris says, what effect would a sunny day have? Hmm. So I'm thinking, now, now, now when we have to come back and, and see it on a sunny day, I'm thinking that with the sun shining through it, the, the writing and such, the, um, the drawing would reflect in, on the ground like they were talking about kind of creating a whimsical game of hopscotch or something. So we had to come back and see. I think the sun would actually create another dimension of that piece. Fantastic. There's a lion over here. There's a mural on the police station. That's cool. What does this lion say? 
Oh my goodness, there's so much more back there. I gotta go back. The lion says, the wicked flee when no man pursueth, but the righteous are bold as a lion. All right. Now, Tom, if you watch this and record it, I want to I want to get your your view on this. No skateboarding. What? Let's see what this says. Memorial. Three officers killed in line of duty. Respect. Sergeant Carl Murtis on November 5th, 1980. Detective Sergeant Stephen Bauer. January 3rd, 1992. And Sergeant Lynette Hodge, November 16th, 1993. Oh, the sculpture is impressive. I mean. Whiskers. Right. Get our camera up and go back. They have uh, red, white, and blue lights at night. Cool. Let's check out this mural by Lebo. So I don't know if you guys watch um, ESPN, but there's a there's a one of the shows. They might still I don't know if it's still on the air, but it's Dan Lebatard and his father, and uh, they're from Miami. They do a talk show for all the sports, and this is Dan's brother. Is it Chris? Maybe he goes by Lebo. So Miami guy. Courage, integrity, respect, empathy, professionalism, and unity. This, this mural might just sum up why I love Miami um, and this area in general. Just completely a melting pot of all cultures, races, religions, what have you. Having been around the world, not, to, not, not that I've been everywhere around the world, but having explored other areas of the world, I can definitely appreciate that aspect of Miami, melting pot. And not necessarily um, uh, how I want to say, uh, segregated. You know, some, a lot of, some cities are well, these are where you know, the Hispanics are. These are where the Asians are, you know, the different areas. Like Miami is just a melting pot. And we're going to take a little detour. Uh, this is off the tourist path, as I like to say. Off the beaten path, off the tourist path. But I like this mural. I need to see more. Every time I start a live feed, I'm saying to myself, I'm only going to do 25 minutes, 30 minutes tops. Here we are at 25 minutes, and I'm like, there's so much more to see. I just hope that I don't burn people out with two. You know, the majority is. That's beautiful, right? We're going to come back and explore this on a sunnier day.
but yeah, I love that mural. Let's come back to the street, the main street. Main street in North Miami is Northeast 125th Street, otherwise known as North Miami Boulevard. Um, and I would say that this Northeast 7th Avenue appears to be the northern boundary of this downtown corridor. Dress shop. Chantel Sisters. Nice. Mimi's Corner. Beauty Salon. Check out the rest. says I sure love this hometown feel right yes I agree with you again I always say I'm all for the tourists I'm all for tourism and the, the dollars it brings to the to the locals and the jobs it brings to the locals and such but um, there's something about the lesser known nooks and crannies of the city I love to explore on a sunny day I'm definitely coming back here. I mean, we still have to go back to uh, Miami Shores, but I'm definitely coming back to check out Cafe Creme and this outdoor space. some furnishings, vermilion, screen printing shop called Stitches, Stitches by Walter, get your work wear, medical wear, dress shirts monogrammed, uh, Fashion Institute of South Florida, pattern making lessons, sewing lessons, fashion illustration lessons, oh. Luna Star Cafe, formal wear, A to Z tuxedos, elegant hair of New York. Hey, hey New York in the house. Eighteen euro car carry. How many cars we got? Still car shopping. The old Saturn Sky blast from the past. Looks like a. Uh, some wrecked cars. Whoops. Across the street we have One World Art Gallery, Emilio Martinez. Sync Art Studio. Now, hey Lady O, welcome. Lady O, um, I don't know if you park there on Saturdays. I would, I think you might have to. I don't know. 
no. Sorry, Tom, I just stole that. From you. <laughs> yeah. Lady O, today we are in the city of North Miami. Not North Miami Beach, but North Miami. So Chris, while we're here, I'm going to take Lady O back to this. I work till noon. Right now I am home painting, but taking a break. Hey, well thanks for taking a break with us. Lady O, this is a, uh, a sculptural uh, utilitarian work of art. Earlier I did a whole reading of the, the uh, explanation of what it is. And it's completely reflection, uh, reflectory, and it's coated with this oil medium that makes it super colorful, right? It reflects the tree, the palm trees around it. It reflects the users, or the users, the viewers, and. Um, it appears that on a sunny day, the sun coming through will create this, this drawing and this map on the ground, and then people can play along with the words. And almost like a board game of go from, go from here to there to there, reflect upon, you know, different things. Am I happy? Are you sure? What do I feel? Yeah, it's very cool. So in the city of North Miami, we have this Museum of Contemporary Art. This is one of the artist's pieces that is on display inside. She's a local Florida artist. I guarantee there are more pieces on the other side. And this is the featured exhibit. My name is Marion. Check out the uh, Museum of Contemporary Art in North Miami. North Miami Police Department, which I honestly thought was the museum at first because look how elaborate the police department is. What? Exciting day today, Lady O. I've already told the, the room. Um, we got a new gimbal. A new gimbal arrived yesterday. Checked it out last night. Oh yeah. It hasn't collapsed on us once in 33 minutes. <laughs> So let's go down this way and see if we can discover any other. City Hall is even cool. I'm styling, that's right. I got my, uh, this gimbal doesn't have, I don't know how many viewers are familiar with gimbals, but one of the problems I have with a lot of them is that they, require that you rest the phone, the bottom of the phone up against a stabilizing thing. So it blocks the port, especially on the new iPhone. This one does not. It grabs it from the middle and holds it. So I can use this very elaborate you know, Apple earbud system that they've designed. 100 years ago. <laughs> not have to get... Hopefully the mic is holding up. Not have to get one of those million dollar 
wireless mics and such. Because I'm all about the experience. I don't want to be encumbered by a... bunch of wires and things. Anyway, this is cool. This is some old Florida that I... Hold on, let me screw it up and turn it on. Some old Florida building that... is what uh, I like to say is what even the old limo or the older stuff. Anyway, <laughs> this is what uh, before Brickell came and before all the high rises and you know, before the Dubai came to South Florida, this is, is as city as it got. A lot of the really That didn't collapse though, that was my my fault. Hit the wrong button. Um, a lot of the cities, they still do have ordinances that re restrict buildings to so many stories. So perhaps two stories, three stories are the max for some of these areas. Just to keep the to keep it from getting too uh, shaded during the day keep the sun brighter some of the times when you go down these streets and there high rises on each side it gets a little dark this building is close to us but it but it's far <laughs> get it, get it, get it, get it. Love the colors in the lobby. Orange stairs. Dentist. Look at the dentist office. I mean, really? Doesn't get more 70s than that, folks. Mid-century modern at its best. Dry cleaner. With the interesting original window display. Wallpaper. So in Miami, you have a lot of uh, textured walls. Um, they call it knockdown. Um, because the humidity levels often, even back in the day when wallpaper was, was fashionable, um, the humidity levels, if your house didn't have air conditioning were so it was so humid that the wallpaper wouldn't stick to the walls so most have this type of uh, this is what they call a knock oh, this is stucco but knockdown is very similar this textured wall huh. oh uh, Florida trivia <laughs> interior design trivia in the Florida way Payless has a cool thing. On this side of the street, we have a bridal shop, dancewear shop, hair salons, antiques. I'm going to go antiquing. Come to one, one, Northeast 125th in North Miami. Two antique stores. Chris says all of the walls in Phoenix homes are like that. All right. Yep. Chris, is it the same there? Is it the heat? Keep it, uh, anything to do with the, the heat in Arizona? Actually have family that moved to Arizona in the eighties. They found this giant plot of land in Yuma. 
and uh, they tried to get the rest of the family to join them, but it was so um, you know back then they would send you like the VHS tapes to watch updates on them and the kids playing and such and they had this giant alfalfa fields that seemed so desolate nobody else really ran with it so we just kind of wished them well and <laughs> I don't even know if no they haven't visited heat but no humidity I'm told that it's quicker construction wise ah that's true too. Now that is nice. That is called Cane Sucre. Sugar cane gourmet sandwich bar. So this area, North Miami, um, South Miami, there are um, a lot of, the majority of the population is uh, Spanish speaking. North Miami, I would venture to say the majority of the population is, uh, speaks Creole and French. So there are a lot of, uh, there's a lot of French influence in the in the community. A couple more, a couple more blocks here. I love the architecture in this. Seventies, eighties. Yeah, the Planet Fitness is even. Holding true to the... Original architecture of the building. Enter the windy area. Let me know if that wind is getting in the microphone. I'll turn around. school to drive through uh, tellers at the bank they have the those pipes that you put the container in and it shoots it over to the teller I believe that was for the Planet Fitness building Planet Fitness is probably a bank and that's what the drive through tellers were for again these Bank of America's around here. See, Bank of America before Bank of America here was a bank called NCNB, North Carolina National Bank, I believe, was the was the bank. And then um, Nation either bought out Nation's Bank or Nation's Bank turned into Bank of America. So this was the I go by. This was the prominent bank, South Florida. So these branches are pretty elaborate. Banking history trivia. The, the hometown bank used to be called Barnett Bank. That was Florida's bank. But that 
is the easternmost boundary, northeast 10th Avenue. Go back on the other side. That's the Villa Maria Nursing Center. St. Catherine's Rehabilitation Hospital. Well, thanks for hanging out with me and exploring a new city. This is fun. Now, before, before I discovered you, well, not YouTube, because I always had YouTube, but before I discovered uh, the gimbal <laughs> and this, time, this kind of uh, content, I'd probably spend a couple hours down here taking pictures and you know, flooding my Instagram feed with uh, shots like... Uh, Maybe like this. Something incorporating a few different layers. Like this thing is, this trash can is pretty cool. We have an old, a newer trash, a more modern trash can with a, with a vintage building behind it. Shea Madam Jones restaurant. And that's got to be good. In South Florida, when you see a restaurant like that, nine times out of ten, that's delicious. Cabrini, welcome to North Miami, the city of North Miami. Cabrini says cloudy skies. Yes. Cloudy skies today. No rain, really. It rained a little earlier, but... We're just walking around one of the, like this is cool. I would take a photo of this if I was doing uh, street photography today. See that? Mullerville, Albertville, Al Muller, Albertville, Alabama, 1988. Now that looks like it's been here since the 60s. But, um, we're exploring this, one of the original downtown corridors. Known as North Miami. about 10 miles or so from, 12 miles perhaps from uh, downtown Miami. Yet uh, decades away <laughs> in construction and or in art and architecture. This is the Sun International Building. I like to see these old buildings, especially inside. So inside of this building has, as you can see it, has some pretty cool sculptures in their lobby. Yeah. I like to look at these buildings and imagine like the day it was opened, right? The day that building opened, who knows when it was opened, 1985 maybe? That building must have seemed like the most modern building. Cabrini's in the house, Lady O's in the house, Chris Beeman's in the house. Got a good squad today. About to get crushed by a Range Rover. Nope, he stopped. This is it. This is the cane. I see where sugar cane sandwich shop. Come check it out. 
right here, stop the spread. Today's chef special, chicken alfredo, carne pasta. Breakfast. Says Cane Asucre serves unbeatable flavors of gourmet French casual cuisine with a small Latin touch for authentic taste. Our philosophy is to produce everything from scratch so that we can offer artisan gourmet dishes that showcase the fresh ingredients all served in an other world, otherworldly environment. Our chicken is free range and hormone free. Many of our products are organic and from local markets. We hope you enjoy our creation as much as we do. Eat, laugh, and celebrate. Who could argue with that? Penne pasta with chicken alfredo, soup is cream of vegetable, quiche is vegetable. Wow. That must have been from Friday because they're closed on the weekends. But that is so cool. That is like a working sandwich shop. <laughs> yeah, Chris, I think... Um, yeah, we're definitely doing okay. Um, there's definitely... There's a... You know, just from driving through here... To get from the eastern side of Miami, to get from Miami Beach to the interstate, I-95, you have to come through streets like this. So from driving through here over the years, this is definitely the, a quiet Saturday. I'm not sure of the weather, but um, about this dress shop, but um, it's definitely it's quieter, but it's not as restricted or affected as other areas, obviously. Look at these purses. It's kind of cool. Looks like a marble. The fashion vlogger. I uh, like James and Carla do. Fashion cam. Sorry, James. I gotta borrow from my from my peoples. Beautiful, beautiful sunny summer sundresses. Oh my god! Let's go <laughs> we'll back. Look at this place. What? Curated art. Vic Victor A. Diaz. What? What? That's fantastic. Fashion cam, that's right. Man. <laughs> Fashion cam, look at this. If you felt like Caesar, felt you wanted to recreate Caesar's palace in your home. So cool. Everything is so cool. Look at that. I don't know if you can see it, but that's cool too. Even though. Ceramic boss, that's cool. And a storefront. What? Nice. Got a smoke shop. Literally, smoke shop. Oh, that's a cool. I don't know what style that is, but man. That's cool. It's sold. Beat me to it. Oh, well.
tapestries. Whoa. This is Gustavo Olivieri, 20th century decorative arts and design. Check him out on Instagram at Gustavo Olivieri Antiques. That's how you spell it. Gustavo Olivieri. I back chairs, right? It's like it's vintage, but it's modern vintage. Mid-century modern? Is that what that is? Even the chairs behind it are cool. Look at that chair. That's like a what is that? Like a fainting couch back there. Can you see it? That wicker? A tan? Yeah, that's wicker. I have only known them as fainting couch. If I go back to it. It's fantastic. Another, oh, still Gustavo Olivieri. Uh, another set of chairs. Well, those are like, those are hip. <laughs> With the uh, rattan chest of drawers. Antique vlog. And this thing back here. All toy cars in a acrylic enclosure. And that painting. Beautiful. Check him out. GustavoOlivieri.com. Some nice pops of color on a, you know, foot massage, $35, you know. Nice pops of color on a uh, overcast Florida day. Martell Gallery Antiques. Very fancy. Art Deco for sure. Art Deco for sure. That's a beautiful table though, right? Look at that table. Books for sale. Frank book. I'll take it. Hair. Hair shop. Charlene Hair. Pasco Gallery. Look at these. Oh, went too high. Settle down. It's definitely interesting. So this is the Pasco Gallery. Hmm. Exclusive American distributors of Ardmore Ceramic Arts. A-R-D-M-O-R-E. Uh, Ardmore Ceramic Arts. If you're so intrigued, then look them up. Oh, I love Longhorns. Is that what that is? Something else, but I love those tusks. Another barber shop. No, Beauty Essentials Hair Salon and Spa. This is the dancewear gallery. You can dance in a wedding dress. Or Saturday Night Fever. Check that out. Get your formal. 
and foremost. Dulce Tropical Bakery and Dulce Tropical Bakery and Cafe. Nice. Shot there. Hello. Typical insurance shops. In the formal wire shop. Now look at this. Look at this. I don't know if the reflection is going to ruin it. Look at that. Who wants this in their in their closet? Detail. <laughs> now, who thinks I should do the live stream with that? That's awesome. <laughs> This is La Premier. La Premier fashion show. Get your quinceanera dresses. Clarabella boutique and bridal. Empty storefront. Lidio says live stream in a suit, Scott. That's right. In a suit that's that's embellished with gold lame. Like what? That's it. Forget this look. This look is gone. Like my my uh, Charlie Brown. Nope. We're going gold suit. <laughs> That'll do the trick. <laughs> What's to say? The whole point of being alive is to evolve into the person you were intended to be. Plants. Plants are like a big thing here. This is 305 Yoga, by the way. Plants are like catching on. There's like plant stores and all these container gardens people can have in their condos or apartments. Dripping in diamonds, that's right. I can be fashionable and do that blue quinceanera dress. Right? It's kind of like you don't want to get too too fancy, but this is stripe vintage modern. Okay. You don't want to get too fancy, but you don't want to be too uh, you know dull either. So I think that will do the trick. Eddie else says plants thrive well in Florida heat. Yes. The right ones, absolutely. Look at this coral. I think this is like real. I think it's real. A giant piece of the reef. It's probably not real. That would probably be. I guess if it washes up, you can have it. But, you know, you want to ask? Nope. Oh, Introverted. This is the shop called Strength. Vintage 20th century interiors. It's pretty, it has a very beachy feel to it. Look at the driftwood table, which is sold. I have a good friend that makes driftwood tables like that 
finds the pieces, cuts them down, trims them up, makes some pretty elaborate pieces, but I'm still trying to convince them to sell them in mass, not just to curious friends. So stay tuned if you like driftwood tables. There's a rattan lounge in there. Frame shop. Zilea art framing. Travel, want to take a trip? Don't have a computer? I don't know. Shelly McCoy, March on Society. That's cool too. I don't like when people inside, they stand up and they start walking to the. Okay. Don't worry. We're not going to take a picture. Pink Gun Gallery. That's interesting. Love that. Beautiful. It's another art gallery. It looks like they're changing out their display. This is that One World Gallery we saw from across the street. That's a cool piece, I don't know if you can see. Too much of that. There it is. Nice. Very cool. Emilio Martinez. This is the name. Emilio Martinez. World Art Gallery. Nice. That sculpture is cool too. Sculpture. Check it out. Emilio Martinez. Beauty Salon. There's uh, this is the A to Z tuxedo shop. Okay, Lady O. Chris, what do you guys think? Purple suit for the stream? Yeah, buddy. When I do the collab with uh, Tom down in Brickle, I'll get the purple suit. That's fancy. Oh, if you like the fruits, got a lot of fruits there. Watermelon, strawberry, lime, orange. Thanks. I think. Oh, well, thanks. I don't have the purple suit yet, but. I didn't say yet. Oh, look at the vintage sewing machine. Now I know what to do with my grandmother's sewing machines. Bring them to the Fashion Institute of South Florida. This is the uh, stitches. I've become the uh, North Miami Chamber of Commerce today. <laughs> Hope you guys are enjoying the tour. The street, I mean, the street is, look. The street is the street. This is where we were, where we started out. Pew. Museum of Contemporary Art. We, Cafe Crema. Cafe Creme, excuse me. Even the sidewalks are artsy, right? Chris pointed that out earlier. 
that uh, geometric patterns in the sidewalks. This is, okay, where's my thing here? Vermilion, 20th century furnishing. Like those glass vases, vases. It's rather ominous. The posts. Ah. Don't mind me. <laughs> Dark. Sometimes. First slap I've seen. M O A L. The ape. The office building. Seven thirty five Northeast one hundred twenty fifth Avenue, North Miami, Florida. They have an office there. No, me, that's like that's the area, like uh, Soho. It's just North Miami, N O M I, no me. You never know. You know. Okay, so for those who've stuck, for those who've stuck it out, this is Liberty Gardens. We started here. Um, if you remember the mural from Winwood that has all the cats and the dogs and the, all the different pets, this is the same artist as that mural, Ernesto Miranda. These beautiful birds. Beautiful bird over there. Butterflies. 2019. And known as Liberty Gardens. Some beautiful flowers there. So this is okay. So you see the mural on that wall. This is a, what they call a living mural. So it's a, a vine, a grid with vines. And it's actually a mural, a mural of natural beauty. <laughs> made that up but there is a sign there loose to that see somebody thought they could so in, in, in Winwood, when we have murals that people bomb over with graffiti and other writings so apparently this is the way to bomb a natural graffiti wall or natural mural is to put your Christmas tree in it yes Chris it is a very serene little garden I totally agree it's starting to rain, so the garden will be watered. And so will the camera. <laughs> we don't want that. This mural ins inspires appreciation for native trees, plants, and pollinators. Plants and pollinators work together in a vir virtuous cycle to create abundant ecosystems. Yet human activities have caused the sharp decline of many species. Many insects and birds have seen up to 90% population loss in recent decades. Bees and other pollinators are essential to growing crops that feed us. Pine rockland forests used to be abundant in South Florida. Now only 2% of this endangered forest ecosystem is left. Trees produce oxygen for us to breathe. Their roots reduce flooding. Their branches harbor wildlife. Their leaves provide shade. Their presence adds beauty and peace to our environment. Consider this. 
What if cities become urban habitats to nurture biodiversity alongside thriving humans? It's fantastic. The project is brought to you by Ernesto Moranier, muralist, and before it's too late at bitl.earth. Creative Direction and AR. This we'll have to try another day for sure. So if we download that app, Liberty Gardens AR, and we point the camera to it, I'm sure this all comes to life somehow. One of those pieces that I showed yesterday from Pez Barcelona does the same thing, has an app that makes it an interactive piece. Now, along the way, you have the North Miami Community Redevelopment Association puts these uh, signs to say what it is. This is called Fog Fruit. Small creeping herbal herbaceous wildflower native to Florida. So it looks like these were selected to attract pollinators, bees, my favorite, sarcasm. Lady O, thank you for hanging out. This was uh, a little bit longer than I expected. I expected to do maybe 20, 30 minutes, but we had a great one. Let's, let's, let's end the stream on this amazing wall. Ernesto Moran here. Thank you guys for, for checking it out. I hope you enjoyed North Miami. And we'll likely return here on a sunnier day. And um, check out that, that installation over there in the plaza. See how the sun uh, makes that come to life. And right. Lady O says, nice wall. I totally agreed. And um, there's my friend the bee. It's not real though. It's still creeping me out. Just kidding. And uh, yeah, so that's North Miami. That's the small downtown corridor of North Miami. Um, I'm gonna try and find some more places to, to walk around like this. I've got a few more uh, ideas that uh, stay tuned for that. And uh, Chris Beeman says, bye Lady O and Scott, maybe see you later on Tom's stream. This was great. Thanks Chris, definitely see you later. Um, um, thanks everybody for joining. Uh, Lady O, Chris, Cabrini, and uh, everybody for watching, that's watching the recorded version. And please like and subscribe at your leisure. I need to uh, get all my subscribers up and then we're gonna go big with the stream. How big? You've got to stay tuned, subscribe and find out. <laughs> but that's not an empty promise, folks. That's, we're going big. We're going big with this. Just know that you guys were here from the beginning and I appreciate your support you're tuning in more than you know all your kind comments and sharing my stream with other folks and uh, thank you it's Saturday I hope you guys are enjoying your weekend and I hope you have a wonderful Sunday coming up and Saturday night if you have plans tonight or if not just a wonderful Saturday night at home alright guys thanks again for hanging out Take care. Show love. Over and out.